visit trb.fyi slash disclaimers for a full disclaimer and liability notice. When handling or working on firearms, safety should always be first. Visit trb.fyi for the full article of tools that we used in the 92, 96, and M9 video series. Using a screwdriver, remove the grip screws and lock washers. Use a finger to push up on the back of the grips to get them above the grip screw bushings. Repeat the process on the other side of the frame. The disassembly latch is located on the left side of the frame. We will need to rotate the disassembly latch upwards by first pushing in on the disassembly latch button. And then rotating the disassembly latch until it contacts the slide rail. Slowly release the spring tension on the disassembly latch button and then remove it from the frame by pulling it out. Now remove the disassembly spring from the slide. The disassembly latch can now be pulled from the frame. The trigger bar is located on the right side of the frame. Using a pair of needle nose pliers, carefully remove the trigger bar spring from the trigger bar and the frame. Gently lift up to remove the trigger bar spring from the hole in the receiver. To remove the trigger bar, push up on the trigger bar from the rear and pull from the frame. The slide stop is located on the left side of the frame and its spring sticks through a hole in the frame to retain the trigger pivot pin. Slowly pull the slide stop from the frame. and pull up on the spring to remove it from the hole in the frame.
The trigger is held into the frame by the trigger pivot pin. This pin holds the trigger to the frame as well as retains the trigger spring. To remove this pin, we will push from the right to the left. The left side of the pin has a larger flat head. Using a 332nd inch punch, push the pin from the right to the left until it clears the frame. Once this punch is all the way into the frame, do not remove it until you're ready, as this is holding in the trigger spring. Place a finger over top of the spring and then remove the punch. This keeps the spring from flying out of the frame. Now rotate the frame and the spring will fall free. Now the trigger can be removed by pushing up and removing it through the top of the frame. The main spring and hammer strut guide are held in place by a pin located at the bottom of the frame. The main spring puts a lot of tension on the hammer strut guide and we must be careful when removing it. Using a 332nd inch punch, drive this pin out of the frame. Place a finger into the frame and your thumb on the hammer strut guide. Push up with your thumb and remove your punch. Carefully release the spring tension. Now remove your hammer strut guide. Tip your frame up and shake. Your main spring will come out. The hammer is held in place by the hammer pin. Using a 3 16 inch punch, push the hammer pin in from the right side. Now pull your hammer away from the frame. Turn your frame upside down and the hammer strut will fall from the frame. The sear and the sear spring are located at the back of the magwell and held in place by the sear pin. The sear spring is under tension and we'll need to put a finger over it when we're removing our punch so that we can maintain control. Using a 1 16th inch punch, drive the pin through the frame. Place a finger over the sear spring and remove your punch. Now rotate your frame and your sear and sear spring will fall free. The hammer release and firing pin block lever are held in place by a pin. There are two pins in this area. There's a roll pin to the back and a straight pin to the front. 
In this step, we'll be working with the front pin. Using a 1 16th inch punch, drive out the pin from the right side of the frame to the left. Remove your punch and then pull out the firing pin block lever from the front. If you tip your frame, the hammer release lever will fall free. To remove the ejector, we'll need to remove the ejector spring pin. Using a 1 16th inch roll pin punch, drive out the ejector spring pin from the right side of the frame to the left. Now pull the ejector free from the frame. The magazine catch is located where the trigger guard meets the front strap and is reversible for left-handed shooters. To remove the magazine catch, push in into the rear with a fingertip on the opposite side of the magazine release button. Go slowly when removing this from the frame so that you don't lose the spring or the bushings. Slowly pull up in the spring to release it and the bushings from the magazine catch. Consider supporting us on Patreon or use our affiliate links on our webpage to help us produce more quality content. Visit our YouTube channel for more firearm related videos, including others in this series. Please remember to subscribe to our channel. It helps us more than you realize. Thank you for watching. Visit trb.fyi for additional content on this video. You can also support us on Patreon and follow us on Facebook and Twitter.